To set long-term language learning goals should be one of the most important aims of any multilingual family. Why? Well, by doing so, it will make your life so much easier as a parent. In a minute, I will talk about three main reasons why you should set long-term goals for your multilingual family and if you have done so already, revise them. Hi there, Andrea here. This is Multilingual Family, a vlog where I share lots of tips, know-how and useful material to raise multilingual children successfully. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel and joining my mailing list for more support. The link is, by the way, in the description below. Happy New Year, everyone! I hope 2021 brings lots of health, wealth and success to your multilingual families. When my husband and I were thinking about having a family, I couldn't stop thinking about how we were going to organize ourselves to raise our children in the languages that we consider essential for our kids. I honestly had at some point sleepless nights because my brain was turning in circles trying to figure out an ideal path and I didn't find peace of mind until I sat together with my husband and discussed in detail our hopes, aspirations and desires. But not only that, we also talked about what is realistic, what is achievable without overwhelming ourselves and our kids. And this point is very important, I think, because it is easy to dream. What is not so easy is to make the dreams come actually true. How do you set goals for your multilingual family? What languages do you want them to learn? And more importantly, why? When will they need those languages? What for? And once you have chosen the languages, what level do you want them to reach? And why? I have a printable with these and more questions that you can download. Check out the link in the description below. The first reason why you should set yourself long-term goals for your multilingual family is because it will give you peace of mind. Once you know why you are doing things, the what becomes easier. For example, in my family we have for each language a different goal. If you have been following me, you know that for now we deal every day with three languages and a dialect. Two more languages are going to be added to our kids' lives in some years. After answering the questions I posed before, in our case this is what our goals look like for the next 10 years. Yes, you heard me right, 10 years. For Spanish, Danish and Swiss German, we want well-developed verbal skills. Our children should be able to communicate with our families and friends effortlessly and accent-free. They should understand conversations according to the age and be able to be fluent when taking part in discussions. We don't intend to teach them how to read or write in those languages. We don't want to spend our weekends only learning languages. If at some point our kids are interested in developing further their language skills, they will have a solid foundation to build up. When it comes to German and English, we aim for well-developed verbal and written skills. In other words, full literacy. Kids need a long time to develop written skills, which means to read and write. Since we intend to stay in Switzerland, our kids will probably have to do their school careers in German and English. In both languages, they will need to have an academic level. French is mandatory in the German part of Switzerland and uh, that is why our kids will learn it in school starting in fifth grade. For us, it's enough if they developed basic verbal and written skills. When they get older, they can decide themselves if they want or need to further develop those skills. So those are our goals for the next 10 years. This doesn't mean though that we might not change our minds in five years. We might, but that is not the point. The reason why it is good to write down your ideas is because, as I said before, it will give you peace of mind to know that you have a plan. You will be able to sleep better at night and 
This takes me to the next reason and that is focus. Knowing what you want and why will allow you to stay focused and save energy for what is really important to you. It is easier to set priorities, easier to delegate, easier to outsource tasks. In our case, for example, I don't worry about German anymore because our nanny takes care of that for now. I only focus my full energy on Spanish and sporadically on Swiss German. My husband only focuses on Danish. Even so, we are happy and sure that we will reach our dream of raising our kids multilingual. Why? Because we have a plan. The third reason for taking some time to think about your long-term goals is confidence. When you know what you are doing and why, you project confidence and security to your kids. I can assure you that that will make your life easier because kids will follow you. They will speak the languages that you want them to speak. In other words, you minimize the possibility that your children might reject any of your plans or languages. Confidence will also come in handy when you have to defend your decisions from skeptic people. No matter if it's your mother-in-law, the neighbors or a doctor, you will know what to say and will be better prepared for anyone that dares to attack your ideas. Please leave me a comment sharing your thoughts. I would love to read them. I hope you like this content about long-term language learning goals. Don't forget to download your free guideline. In the description is the link. Please subscribe and hit that like button to support this channel. And hey, watch these videos to know how many languages a child can learn and how to avoid rejection. This was Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.